looking at the electric vehicles industry, everybody publishes growth numbers year over year everywhere. When you look at this in close more detail, you will find out that this is growth at different speeds in different regions and countries of the world. So where everybody has the same opinion, it's growing. The speed of this growth is fundamentally different if you look at this a bit more deeply. In order to make this transparent, we have developed two indices that kind of try to measure, on the one hand side, the electrical range sold in the different markets, and the other side, the relevance of this electrical range with respect to the total uh, range of vehicles sold in the market. It's obviously growing in every, every continent, in every, every, every area at the same time, but some, are, some countries are really sticking out. In Europe, everybody knows Norway is sticking out by having a lot of good regulation and incentives. The electric range is developing significantly faster than in other European countries. We expect that by 2030, i.e. within the next 13 years, only one third of the European new car market will be classical, traditional combustion engines, and the rest, two thirds, will be electric vehicles and hybrids. China can take a leading role in pushing electric vehicles. On one hand, China needs to address the pollution in its major cities. On the other hand, electric technology is a major opportunity for Chinese OEMs, as they are in competition with traditional international OEMs who have a century of experience with combustion engines, and electric technology actually offers a new market to play for where the Chinese have the opportunity to strongly drive the market.